The students in this school are busy at work, just like you, are acquiring useful knowledge and skills. Are the things they're learning important? Yes, they are very important, because we are living in an age of fast-moving technology, in which every good life must have a saleable skill. Technology has an important sound and an important meaning. What is technology? Applied science is a good definition, or putting to practical use the ideas and principles of science. Technology gives us new and improved products, and easier and better ways of doing things of America, and affecting the way we work, the way we live, and the way we play. Technology has brought about important advances in transportation. Today, high above the earth, huge, comfortable jet airliners fly from coast to coast between breakfast time and lunch, and from continent to continent in only a few hours more. Now we can spend a weekend in any part of the country, or travel quickly to any part of the world for a vacation or business trip. Turboprop planes designed for the shorter runs zip from city to city and state to state at more than 400 miles an hour. The jet engine, like this one shown in Cutaway, is today's big step forward in boosting air speeds and shortening travel time. This is the achievement of scientists and engineers who apply their knowledge of science to bring us faster planes and better engines. The speed of the jets gives millions of people all over the world greater opportunities for travel. And people meeting people means better understanding among individuals and nations. On the ground, engineers apply their knowledge of science to bring us improved roads. Smooth, beautiful, double ribbon highways are appearing everywhere. When the nation's interstate road building program is complete, we shall be able to drive to most of the large cities in the country without a traffic light to delay us or a crossroad to endanger our lives. This vast road building project will require a small army of engineers and technicians for many years. In our cities, freeways help to reduce traffic congestion, making local travel faster and safer. Over 300,000 autos a day speed over this four-level interchange. Think how long it would take for 300,000 cars to drive through a stop-and-go intersection. The new developments in transportation are bringing vacation lands, markets, and people closer together. Today at the edge of our cities, new communities are appearing, designed to make the best possible use of the land and to provide all the necessary facilities for community life. Land planners and engineers must place utilities and storm drains and work out the best locations for roads, fire stations, schools and parks, and commercial districts. The new communities are usually located close enough so people can commute to their work, but away from the noise and bustle of the city. Here people can relax and enjoy the out of doors. Here too, attractive shopping centers are provided so people can shop for their needs in one location close to home. New buildings throughout the country today reflect the training and skill of architects and engineers. Imaginative use of new and colorful materials such as aluminum, stainless steel, and ceramic tile give today's architecture a bright and trim appearance. In addition to being attractive, buildings are functional, designed for a purpose to provide people with safe and pleasant surroundings in which to work and study.
The men who designed these structures only a short time ago were students like you. They learned basic principles and how to solve problems. Today they use this knowledge in constructing modern towers in the sky. The services of artists, decorators and landscape designers also are used to enhance the beauty of our buildings. Even industrial plants and factories have the new look. Handsome buildings outside, and inside, there are machines that do much of the hard labor and tedious operations, increasing production and freeing people for more creative work. Automatic machines also reduce the work week, giving workers extra hours for leisure. Some machines even tell other machines what to do and when to do it. Controlled by magnetic tape, the operation of this boring mill is completely automatic. Automation, the use of automatic machinery, will become more and more important in the future to meet the needs of a growing population. Automation will bring additional opportunities for electronic experts, mechanical engineers, and tool designers. New office machines play a vital role in our advancing technology. They use punched cards and magnetic tapes to keep records and solve mathematical problems. The electronic computer, in minutes, can solve problems requiring thousands of hours of pencil and paper calculation. But these machines are useless without their human masters, mathematicians, programmers, and operators. Technology takes power. Water is a great source of power used from the early days. But yesterday's methods won't work today. So we apply science to bring the water wheel up to date. The work and skill of countless engineers made this huge dam possible. The hydroelectric energy produced here is distributed to our homes, factories, and places of business where it performs an ever-increasing share of the labor. Appliances lighten the homemaker's work, and electric motors run the mechanized equipment in our factories. Steam power plants also generate our electricity. The steam is made from water heated by coal, oil, gas, or atomic energy. This dome-shaped building houses a boiling water reactor. Nuclear power plants are now being constructed in many parts of the world. They are of special benefit to people in countries where ordinary fuels and hydroelectric power are not available. In the United States, much of the increasing demand for electric power will be supplied by atomic energy. The nuclear reaction not only produces heat, but also dangerous radiation. Mechanical hands are used to handle the uranium fuel and radioactive materials. Leaded glass shielding, three feet thick, protects the operator of the mechanical hands. Overexposure to atomic radiation can be harmful, but properly handled, radioactive materials are being put to good use in research laboratories, industry, and agriculture. They also help doctors diagnose and cure different diseases. There are endless opportunities for young scientists and technicians in the fields of atomic energy and nuclear science. There is another great source of energy we are just beginning to use, the sun. The Vanguard satellite's radio transmitter is powered by solar energy, as is this tiny radio. Silicon cells convert sunlight into electricity. Energy from an ordinary light bulb here supplies the power to run a small motor. The light energy striking the surface of the silicon cells generates a movement of electrons within the cell, which in turn sets up a flow of electric current. Engineers are also developing methods for heating buildings by solar radiation. Aluminum or copper panels with built-in water ducts trap the sun's heat. The hot water can be stored, 
and pump to radiant panels as needed. The energy of the sun is inexhaustible and it's used limited only by man's lack of knowledge. It's up to the students of today to explore and pioneer in this promising field. Research is the key to progress in technology. In laboratories across the country, men apply their knowledge of science to improve existing products and to discover new products and processes. These new discoveries affect our well-being and make our lives easier. The new drugs and vaccines which add years to our life expectancy come from research. And research, spurred on by competition between nations and companies, helps to provide the planes that fly faster and higher and farther for national defense. Research leads to the development of our new automobiles and automatic machinery. And research will help unlock the secrets of space for tomorrow's greatest of all adventures. We have seen some of the recent advancements in technology, the achievements of yesterday's students. Each student today will have his chance to take part in tomorrow's great adventures in technology. Opportunities will be unlimited for those who are prepared. Especially in demand will be research scientists to explore the new frontiers and engineers to make things happen. Start today to prepare yourself for a place in this modern world. The knowledge and training you are acquiring now will determine your place in the future. What will be your role in this amazing and exciting age of scientific exploration and engineering triumphs?